Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've been team a win again. <laughs> oh dear, I've gone down that rabbit hole. Oh look, I've got it upside down. There you are, look, you can see. It says Timo. Um, I do understand from the lovely, my lovely uh, Mike Diamond painting uh, that Timo are sending out orange bags as well. So yay, go figure. Okay, so it's only a little order this time. There was a couple of t-shirts that I wanted um, and I have found that the clothes are pretty good, to be fair. They do fit me nicely so i'm quite happy with them so i did order another couple and then when you're looking you just think well i'll just maybe order an extra bit and just add something else in and then it says do you like this where well, you could get this at this special price and I'm, okay so i did so i succumbed so let's see what we got this time so i got oops a, another one of those little boxes hopefully all the lids are on this one <laughs> Uh, I've got a diamond painting project. Oh, that looks small. I've got another diamond painting project. Oh, that one looks good. That one's a wooden one. And then I might just have a Scotty dog. Wow, that's huge. And that's it for this time. So I've been really good. Look, I've not ordered... Um, I've not ordered many Scotty Dog things, but I just like this. Look, it's a little Millie Moo with a little red coat on and a blue collar. You'd never get a wearing a coat, though. That's the trouble. So it is a brooch. Uh, you can take the backing off and turn it into a cover minder if you like. But this will go on my notice board. And until I want to use it. Oh, that's a little bit dangerous. So it's not a very big pin, to be fair. That's very sort of maybe a little bit flimsy for the size of the brooch. It's quite heavy as well. Um, yeah, you're going to have to have a good piece of uh, material to put it on. I would suggest maybe a coat or something. It's definitely not something for a thin blouse because there is quite a lot of weight there. But I just thought, oh, I've not got a Scotty brooch that looks like that. So I'm going to get that one. And the price of him was only £2.98. So I thought, oh, well, for that price, it's definitely worth getting. Nice and sparkly. No hot pink, but we've got red and that lovely turquoise blue there. So, yeah, and I thought it's very Scotty-like as well. Sometimes the faces don't look quite right, but, yeah, that's lovely. So, yeah, we've got a new little Millie Moo. Okay, so let's have a look at this and see whether we've got all the lids this time. <laughs> so this one is a little container. It's 24 bottles and this was only £1.48. Now, come on. Oh, it's no good if you can't get into it. <laughs> and we have all the lids. Yay. So, yeah, and we have got 24 little bottles. And they're the nice bottles with the sort of softish plastic lids and the hard plastic bases. So you don't get quite the squeak. Um, if you get hard plastic lids and hard plastic bases, you tend to find that they do squeak a little bit when you put them together. But uh, these are OK. These are my favourite ones. These are what I use all the time. Um, if you saw my kitten up on my huge Easter egg, then I did use one of these. And I think it's quite a handy um, small surface area little case rather than being one of the 30 cases um, that's, you know, the big zip and everything. Just to fit 24 into this is uh, a great little size. And I do like my special drill paintings. And sometimes if I'm doing, say, keychains or cards or anything, then I do like to kit them up because if you're swapping colours and swapping items, then it is nice to have them in the little bottles. So, yeah, I thought I would invest in another one of those. I'm sure the other one was only 20, was it? Was it 24 the same? No, it was exactly the same. Look, it was 24 the same. I was thinking it was only 20, but one of them had a lid missing. But anyway, this one is complete. So that is fine. So that's a really good basic diamond painting item or jewellery making or whatever, whatever you want to put in them. Um, and I do like the fact that it's clear as well. So you can see what's in there and uh, yeah, you can see all your colours as well. So, yeah, excellent for anybody. If you like me and you spill things a lot, then these are great because they've got the screw top lids. So if you drop them, as long as the lid's on properly, you shouldn't in theory, lose any of your drills out of it. Um, and then this has got the little cast on it as well, which is quite tight. 
as you can see it's not a particularly easy one to open but that just means as well if you knock that off your table it's likely to all stay in there so yay excellent liking that so i say for one pound 48 you really can't go wrong can you right let's have a look at the wooden little item first again this was another come and buy me you can have it at this special price seeing as you've bought those other things you know when you can add to your order after you've put your order through and it says oh well look at these special offers and i always look at them and i saw this one for five pounds and 77 pence thought i'm having that thank you very much so oh look at that so wow you don't get that very often that's the wooden base it's got special shaped gems on it look which looks like they're all going to be like flower shaped gems and it's all diamond painted so you don't get that very often that's lovely wow liking that okay i think you can probably tell from the shape what this actually is uh pen button watch stand a little toolkit oh crystal gems with lots of specials oh look the flowers are hot pink oh my goodness and we do have crystal codes gem codes on them as well yep so i will be able to kick this one down i'll be that's an h we've not had an h before so that will be interesting to see whether they match up with any of the other gem codes that i've got when i've done him but look how cute is that he is absolutely gorgeous and he's talking to a bee that could be me i have to say you know when there's a bee on the floor and i know you're supposed to give them a little bit of uh, sugared water or something because it means that they maybe need a bit of energy a bit they're a bit dehydrated or whatever uh, and they sort of like wave at you um yeah i think they're actually saying don't you come near me but it does look like they're waving at you the little front leg comes up and waves and i get down on my hands and knees and give them a little bit of sugar water and talk to them <laughs> So that could be me. Although I'd sooner that I was sat on a log really rather than getting down on the floor and uh, doing that. But yeah, <laughs> I am that person. But this is so cute. Oh, has he got wings or is this, is this a flower or is this a butterfly do you think that's landed there? They do look like butterfly wings. I don't think it's a bee because it's got the double wing. So I think he's got a butterfly sat on his hat. Look, it's probably all these flowers that he's got on it. But I just loved the colour palette of it. It's just so spring and pretty. So, yeah, once all my Easter things come down, then I do need to start looking for putting spring, summer things up in their place. I can't keep Easter eggs up forever. And my bunnies will have to come down eventually. <laughs> but, yeah, the little bee look there. It's gorgeous on this little yellow flower, which is growing out of a tree trunk there. I wonder if he's sort of like... It's an old tree trunk and he's hollowed it out and just planted a flower in the top. And then all the little flowers are scattered about. Oh, look at his little boots. He's got little boots on, look. Oh, that's wonderful. You can just see his little knee there poking out. Wow. He's definitely saying, oh, well, did you know this? And did you know that? And oh, yeah. And the bee's saying, oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. Just answering him back. Oh, that is wonderful. I love the little pale sort of pastely striped hat as well. I wonder if they'll be pastely because the crystals, I suspect that they might be a little bit shiny and a little bit brighter than that. But yeah, he's gorgeous. And then when he's done, he'll just stand in his little wooden stand and he's got his little garden all around. So you don't very often get that unless this is something new that's starting to come out. But I love that because all the flowers and the colours that are on there follow through onto the base. So it just makes it more of a 3D item. Oh, loving that. And it is in this nice wood, so it's fairly robust. Give everything a quick measure. Do like to see what size everything is. It is a nice size. So to the edge of the bee's wings, we're about seven and a half-ish inches which is about 19 centimetres. And we'll do him from the base up to the top of his hat. He's again about seven and a half inches, 19 centimetres. And then the little base, I think, will be sort of his standard size, which is, yeah, six inches, 15 centimetres. 
by three and a quarter inches about eight centimeters so yeah the bases are all a fairly similar size i mean if you didn't want the flowers on the base although i can't really see why you wouldn't um i know not everybody likes cute and flowers and things uh, you could just use your plain base as well but that is so cute I've never seen that. I had the the owl tree that I got from Timu. We did have all of the base covered in green. Uh, but this is just gorgeous the way it's all followed through onto the base. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love him. Right, let's have a look at these gems. Oh, there's lots of them as well. So we have 20 different gems and colours. And it looks like nearly half of them or two well one third of them are all specials Woo! excellent so that's your plain crystal number one on the uh, crystal chart and then a pale gold and a lemony gold and a dark blue like a dark night sky blue and a little bit of a pink there bright pink and a bronzy color and a honey gold and a lighter honey gold and a lime and a very pale blue and a little bit of your 310 black and then that one i think has a little bit of a green tinge to it very pale and then we're on to our specials so we've got the semi spheres in the gold that's like the middle size oh look two of the blues have joined there they must have been having a really good party oh no there's three of them so they've escaped across. One's got stuck. Look, he's tried to get across, but got stuck. But yeah, so they've had a party in there. Ooh, little teeny tiny slivers in green. Some teardrops in green there. And some teardrops in silver with no iridescent coating on. So they're just your plain ones. So that'll be different. So yeah, and they have got facets on. Ooh. And then the flowers. So we've got little teeny tiny silver flowers. Can you see these properly? There you are. And then we've got honey gold flowers, hot pink flowers, and then some little pearls at the end there, semispheres uh, in white with an iridescent coating. And look, two of the flowers have uh, crossed over to try and get into the pearl party. <laughs> They've escaped. They're off on their way somewhere. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I think we can see where all the little flowers go. But yeah, we've got three different types of flower. These are really small, the silver ones. And then the gold and the oh, pink are all the same. So, wow, this is going to be a nice one. It'll be nice on my summer display. Okay, so we'll just pop you out of the way for now. And we'll have a look at the other one. And the price of this one was £6.22. I did pay full price for this one. And it is one of those that's just a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Uh, but I think it'll still be cute. Okay, let's get into it and have a look. Okay, so a pen, boat and wax and all crystal gems again well apart from the black that's just your acrylic gem so wow very nice okay and this is the little bee on the flower um i have actually got the diamond painting of this and i think this would look so much better if it was bigger um have i got a chain with it don't you get a chain with it No, nope, no chain. Okay, should it come with a chain? Actually, on the picture, it's showing it stood in a stand. But we've definitely got holes there for it hanging up. So I'll have to have a look on that. I was just thinking, at last, we've got a Timu order with no mistakes. But <laughs> possibly this one might be. Hmm, that's really strange. Bee and Flowers Diamond Painting, it just says. Oh no, it is hung up. It is hung up, unless there's a chain in there, but I can't see one. Okay, so yeah, a bit smaller, very, very thin. So, I mean, I would say be careful, but actually sometimes the thinner ones are a little bit more pliable, so don't tend to break as much as the thicker ones, because 
yeah there's not quite so much to break i suppose uh, hmm. but it's very pretty i mean it's the bee on this gorgeous yellow flower and it looks like we've got a little bit of a lilac in the middle there but it's a quite a realistic bee isn't it it's like a honey bee um rather than your big bumble bees it's a little bit different but yeah it is a lot smaller and i do think for six pound 22 they should have included a chain hmm particularly when you think i've paid five pound 77 for that one um and all the drills and all the specials on that one and the robustness of that with it being wooden hmm okay i never got quite sure how they work out the pricing on these things uh right so this one is five and a half inches which is 14 centimeters by about six and a half ish inches which is about 16 centimeters so yeah, it's only a small one. Pretty similar, actually, to the little bunny wreath that I got um, in one of my previous Timu orders. So, mm, okay, let's have a look at the gems and see what these are. So, not many in this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, there's only 12 different gems and colours in this one and only a four special drills so yeah i mean i know i've got the little gnome the little gnome gonk on special offer but uh yeah i don't think sometimes the special offers are maybe prices that you can maybe buy them at anyway i don't know anyway just me just me so do we have any no there's no gem codes or anything on this one either so these will just be a donation one when it's done so silver lime green grapey purple a lemony gold a nice amber orangey colour a very pale gold and a honey gold your standard black there and then we've got the marquees with the iridescent coating some gold marquees some larger round um gold with larger round gold with facets and then other the same hang on Oh no, they've got a green tinge to them, I think. Oh, I'll have to be careful kitting those down because they are very, very similar, but I think they do have a very pale green tinge to them rather than just the silver. So they are, oops, they are just slightly different. Gosh, okay. So it looks like the greeny ones will be around here and the gold ones there. And the silver then possibly... Oh no, D. All oh, right, so yeah, these are the greeny ones. So these are on the green stem at the bottom. The silver ones are all dotted around here and on the wings. And then the B are on the flowers. The B's on the flowers, boom, boom. <laughs> Letter B marquees are on the flowers. And C, you can see. So, C, you can see where they all are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just been one of those days. Oh, dear. Hmm, a little bit disappointing that there's no chain with that one, but never mind. Okay, well, just a smallish order this time from Timu. Um, as I say, I did really just want to order the T-shirts, but as you do, you just get carried away a little bit. So I got a little Scotty Dog brooch. Well, actually, quite a large Scotty Dog brooch. Yes, that is quite sizable and as I say it is very heavy so you'd have to be careful putting it on clothing. Uh, another one of the little tubs with the 24 pots in which is ideal for me. And we have the little gnome which I absolutely love. I'm really pleased I got this one. I think this is really good value for money. And I love the fact that the base is all diamond painted as well so you get all those different colours and how it follows through so you're getting more of a scene as it were with that one and then the little b which is a little bit disappointing a lot smaller than i was expecting albeit it probably did say the size on the website and i've just not really taken much notice <laughs> but yeah it should have had a chain so i will get in touch with them about the chain yeah i'm going to be on first name terms with customer service at this rate <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.